In this video, I'm going to be going over a bunch of tips and techniques that I used to use in restaurants, just like these scrambled eggs. Delicious. Four minute timer. Now peel very gently because it's a very soft egg. This is a very soft egg. Cold butter, salt, cream. Some goat cheese, smoked salmon, scrambled eggs. And this is a very fun way to scramble your eggs. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. Oh, this knife? This knife was a utility knife. It's about four and a half inches in length, which some would say is quite enough. Anyways, <laughs> high carbon steel custom made knife. Right now I'm just sharpening it on a thousand grit stone and then I just work my way up to a 5,000 grit stone. Quick little tip, I use two quarters as a good guideline for my four and a half inch knife. Edge goes against the quarters like so and that gives us our angle. If you're broke and don't have two quarters, you could use a matchbook like this. This is my big bunker cleaver. I love this thing. It's good for everything. It's got a lot of use cases. This one is Damascus steel, as you can tell. If you'd like to see more of my knife collection, comment down below and I might show you. And you do a short on how to easily peel skin off of a tomato. Oh yeah, can I? Tomato. This is option number one. I think option number two is much better. First, locate the butt, remove the little core part, then make an X. Marks the spot. See the X? Drop your tomato into boiling water. Drop it in some ice water. Then once it's cooled, that skin should peel right off. There we go. And that is how we easily remove the skin from a tomato. Okay, from Caglioso, how is a Rocher different from a Cornell? Spoons. First off, let me go over the spoons that you should use for a Rocher. They have a very long bowl going up to a little tip here, as opposed to a more rounded spoon. This is one of my favorite spoons to use, or one of these tiny guys with a long handle. I love these. So we can use a torch on our spoon like this, but I prefer just to do some hot water and then just keep your spoons in that. Take your warm spoon and then just run it across whatever it is you're trying to make a rocher of. That's kind of sloppy. I can do a nicer one. Okay, there we go. That's a rocher. Now for Cornell's, you use two spoons. I have way less practice with this. And all you're doing is running them across each other like so. You know, I think doing a rocher is just way easier. Just one spoon, some warm water, and that's it. And that is the difference between a rocher and a Cornell. And also this is Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip.